Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. Research shows that now, about 73% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. channel. Oh, come on! Yeah, yes. oh. Can you do the need for food? food? She belongs to this category. category. Thanks. I present to you. I came across this question on a list of the I came across this question on a list of the most beautiful ones ever asked. Strange list for someone to make, I agree. But the question caught me by surprise and made me pause. When was the last time I did something for the first time? In no particular order, I started listing off my first times in my head. First day at school, my first job, first day driving. My first day, the first day taking a swimming class, first swimming lessons. That was the first time I ran a race. And then I remember the first time I went to a gym. And the first time I had like a self-care treat. I realized that most of these were my first that happened so long ago that they no longer seem relevant to my current narrative. Perhaps that was the whole point of the question. Getting people to think about the last time they took any kind of risk at all. My mind moved forward closer to the present. And I remember when I thought of starting a YouTube channel. It involved putting myself out there in front of other people and were incredibly difficult for me. Especially with the social anxiety that I constantly struggled with. I was like, what if I fail? What if I can't handle it? What if I don't feel like going on anymore? What if nobody watches my video? <laughs> what if nobody subscribes? What if, what if, and what ifs? But now that I've pushed myself out of the comfort zone, now that I've pushed myself out of the comfort zone though, my comfort zone has grown larger to accommodate new things, which is great. If I find myself asking these kind of questions, questions like this, I know I'm going out of my comfort zone, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Thinking of these things brought the realization that I was proud of myself. I had never taken time or allowed myself to feel the pride and satisfaction that comes from accomplishing something difficult for the first time. It was an awesome feeling. My goal is to do something outside my comfort zone every month, something risky, sort of not, not like overboard right it's something new something different basically it doesn't have to be a big thing every time the little things often make the biggest impact i remember when i first entered the gym it was during my service here and the sincere particular day i didn't go to the gym to i didn't go for any exercise it was fun watching you know people exercising and i tried carrying or lifting some stuff just for fun though a couple of months later two thousand years later Years ago, right? I started going to a gym center in my neighborhood. And it's actually very scary at first. By scary, I mean I mean trying something for the first time here. Yeah? And it was during Amatan. You know how Amatan always is in Nigeria. Everywhere the cloud, everything was I mean, and you had to um pack up like <laughs> like fish. Ignore my dressing when you see it, right? I wasn't really prepared in terms of getting my kids because it was just in the neighborhood right so i just went for it so i would jog from my house to the gym center and then continue the jogging before starting the real exercise it was fun it was really fun i met people i felt really good in terms of my health it was really fun run, 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 run. Raise your thighs up. Turn, almost there, move it. Turn. Turn. Turn it. Turn. Turn. 
Go faster. Go, move it. Raise it up. Let's move it. Raise it up. Go, 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 go. And then the first time I had like a self care treat. <laughs> Many people live a routine life. Often there is a fear of doing something for the first time. We tend to take the same journey to work every day, read the same newspaper, face the same challenges at work, eat at the same restaurant for lunch, the same schedule at weekend. Same, same, same. How about you? When was the last time you did something for the first time? Usually this question provokes puzzled expression, Hey, laughter. And some soul searching. Many people can't think of anything. Their lives are so routine, like they haven't done anything new for years. And because of this, they've become fearful of trying out new things. Because really, that's what it does to us. There's always a first time of doing something. If we can overcome that fear, it's natural for us to enjoy doing new things. It's stimulating, satisfying, and fun. Trying out new things helps you become more confident more creative and better able to accept change as part of your life as you do more new things you find that change becomes less scary and easier to embrace you can begin to learn unlearn and relearn skills that give you a greater chance of success in life give it a go you will definitely see the benefit every day is an opportunity to try doing something new something for the first time here are some examples of what you could try for the first time. I categorize them into home, work, and neighborhood. Could cook something new. Uh, I love food, actually. Try exercising, learn to juggle, or even relax at home. In your neighborhood, you could volunteer at a community center, walk down a road you've never mm -hmm. been through, eat in a restaurant you've never visited, speak to someone or start a conversation. At work, you could be a mentor or have one. You could read books you could try growth mindset the point is to keep growing and expanding as a person and it all started with a single question so let me ask you when was the last time you did something for the first time the thing is there will always be a first time to everything so i hope you get the motivation i hope this video encourage you i hope this video motivates you to want to do something new try to try out something good i mean it could be like taking care of yourself you get what I mean? Yeah. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Thanks for watching this video. If you're a new subscriber, I just wanted to inform you that I'm currently filming this video around. It's currently 3 12 a.m. Actually, I started like around 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm trying to organize, trying to look for location, set up, and all of that. Focus. Yeah. 3 12. So please subscribe to my channel.
thank you thanks for watching guys and see you in my next one bye you like my cup i look she wet you married woman so i've been filming this video for a while now and i realized i didn't plug the mic Peace out. and i know subscribing to my channel means you're doing something for the first time you're subscribing to my channel for the very first, first time. time do it now I'll leave you with these testimonials. I'll leave you with this testimonial from Skill Parks. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.